rock stars, Eric Andres, your guitar sage here. How you doing? It's Thursday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. You know that because you're here. We're only on YouTube today, so if you're in the chat on YouTube, you're in the right place. Hooray. Friends, thank you so much for joining me. So today, uh, if you hadn't joined us last Saturday, we did this broadcast where we introduced the 365 guitar plan. Uh, I'm calling it the guitarist's best practice tool. I might be a little biased, but I also took a few years assembling this thing uh, from decades of teaching and playing and really planned out a step-by-step -step system with day-by-day -day practices that graduate each week, 52 weeks in a year, seven days in a week, seven different practice focuses that graduates every single week, starting you off at the baby beginner stuff. Now, I know some folks that are in the course right now, um, they're saying, oh, that baby beginner stuff's not baby beginner. And some of some folks are like, yeah, I got it, I got it. And that's okay, because we've got some folks that are coming in that are literally brand new, and they need a little bit of extra help. And guess what? They've got that as well today, because... For those of you who haven't done it already, we're doing this massive offer. I'm going to be talking about it today. A lot of you are already in here. So really, you know, what I want to do today is I really want to support those that are in the course already. And I want to help you with your questions and what have you. But my friends, we're going to have lots of folks that aren't in the program as well. And I want to address them as well and, and direct them to the right place so that we can all be learning together and moving forward together. Uh, the testimonies and comments that have been coming in every day are overwhelmingly beautiful. I was just actually talking with Paul just now. So Paul, if you're in the broadcast, uh, thank you so much. Said some beautiful things and, and really folks are moving forward in their playing and it's great. So obviously uh, when something like that's a hit, you want other people to know because you create stuff. You write a book, you you create a guitar plan, you paint a picture, or whatever, and that doesn't mean that even though you're inspired by it, that everybody else is going to be inspired by it. Well, in this case here, a lot of folks are being inspired by the 365 guitar plan and, of course, the Unstoppable Guitar System, which is now on this 2.0 platform where, where lots of really cool bells and whistles. So, without further ado, my friends, we're going to get into um, what I'm going to do is really quickly, while you're getting your questions together, I'm going to pop over to my, uh, my console where basically you can see th what 365 looks like, okay? And for those that are actually inside the program, um, I'm also going to go back and forth between 365 and uh, UGS, or the Unstoppable Guitar System, okay? Because I want you to be able to see this, okay? All right, so here's the deal. Um, if we go to... For those folks that are in the program already, uh, you go to your library, you're going to see the Unstoppable Guitar System and the 365 Guitar Plan. I'm going to be showing folks the 365 Guitar Plan first here, just a little bit, just an overview. I've done this a few times in the last week, so for those that have been here before, I don't want to wear you out, but for those that are new, I'm just going to give this to you really light, okay? But here's the deal. If you want to know more about it, you're really going to have to dig in because we're offering this thing for $1. It's unlimited access for 30 days to both 365 guitar and the unstoppable guitar system. So over a thousand guitar lessons or really close to a thousand guitar lessons and uh, close to 600 jam tracks. We do live broadcasts that are not broadcast to the public like this one is. Uh, that are private just for folks that are within the program and literally a buck will get you that my friends if you want to know more about that the links in the description of the program uh, or in the video description of the video otherwise here I go I'm gonna be talking about this just showing you brief overview and then I'm gonna take your questions so it's a much shorter uh, <clears throat> broadcast today in regards to what I'm going to be showing you but I will be taking your questions okay because I don't want to I don't want to wear you out your time is very important to me okay so <clears throat> in a nutshell, 365, what is it? Over the years, I've collected so many different ideas for, for um, workouts, exercises, etc. Music theory and, and the whole lot. And basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to create something that would allow guitar players to not even have to think, but just to literally go to their console, grab their guitar, and have a daily practice every single day on a different subject, seven different subjects that I'm about to show you. And for them to start off on week one, right at the beginner's section, okay? Which, 
And I'll explain that in just a minute. Whether you're a beginner or advanced player, the beginner section is where you want to start. And I'll explain that in just one moment. But starting at the beginner section, which is a great place to start since we all have to start at the beginning of every single thing that we do. Okay, Believe it or not, even the best guitar players in the world had to start at the beginning. Okay, So we're starting at the beginning and then what happens is, like I said before, if you could imagine the heat on your stove having 53 different notches to where you could crank the heat up 52 different times, obviously it's going to just go from warm to is it warmer? Is it slightly warmer? Type of thing. So that's the effect that you're going to feel when you're in this and you get rolling. At first, for those that are brand new, it may take a little bit of, of getting used to, but then once you're in it, you're going to understand, oh wow, we're turning up the heat very slowly, but surely every single week these exercises will get slightly more challenging. But you're not going to feel the challenge because you're also getting better. In fact, you'll probably be getting better faster than the exercises, but do not worry. I've got exercises in, you that, exercises in there that will definitely challenge you, okay? So, um, without further ado, oh, and the reason why I said it's for beginners or advanced is this is the deal, is that with all of these exercises, and you're going to see testimonies today from folks that are in the program, because the kind folks always do this, and I appreciate you doing that, is <clears throat> letting us know how you're getting along inside the program and what what you're experiencing, um, that sort of thing. Um, and so I say this beginners to advance because as an advanced player, you could literally come in here, you're going to be challenged, I promise you. If it's not on the first exercise, it's going to be on the second or third. And not only that, is that with speed, as you increase the speed in these exercises, you're going to be challenged, I promise. If you're not, guess what? You get to Get out of that program if you want. You probably could even get your dollar back, so I'm not too worried about it. Really, I just want you to see the program, okay? So here we go. I'm going to show this to you. Basically, I've broken this down into seven different days, Monday through Sunday. Uh, works really well like that, and we've got seven different subjects. So um, so drilling down here, uh, we've got on Mondays, this is basically how it's going to go. On Mondays, it's alternate picking strict up and down picking. On Tuesdays, it's hammer-ons and pull-offs. And by the way, you're just focusing on this specific area for each one of these days. Nothing else. If you forget the last day, you're moving on. Okay. The whole point of this is not just to teach you how to play guitar, but to get you to mentally understand that it's about moving on. It's about pressing forward. It's about challenging yourself. It's about understanding how unlimited you are as a player if you open your mind to it and you allow yourself to see the progress. I promise you. I've seen so many players do this. They go from not believing to believing and then all of a sudden they're playing absolutely changes because they understand what they're, they're capable of. Wednesdays is all about economy picking. Arpeggios, there's an, even an arpeggio primer. And I stole this from Steve Vai is angular picking. And he probably stole it from somebody else. But basically, uh, the idea is, um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to you to see it in the program. We're just gl glazing over this. But right now, uh, on Wednesdays, it's economy picking. Economy picking is different than alternate picking. Alternate picking, straight up and down pick or down up picking every single time, no matter what. What economy picking says is, if I'm going, if I'm picking down and my next pick is on the down, is on a string that's below it, then I'm going to pick that one down as well. Strict alternate picking says down up every single time. Economy picking compensates for what string you're going to and what movement you're making. Uh, this is how I used to practice all the time when I was a kid. And then someone told me, oh, no, if you really want to practice fast, you've got to do alternate picking. So I did that, and that's all I did because I really wanted to get fast. Well, it turns out that that was untrue. So this <laughs> goes to show you that if you don't have good instruction, because this was just from a buddy of mine who said something flippantly, uh, Ingve Malmsteen, he always does alternate picking. So that's it, no economy picking. And um, so back in the day, that's all I did then after that was alternate picking because Ingve was my guy and I had to play like him. Never did. Never was able to quite play to that capacity because I didn't put in the 8, 10, 12, 15, 16 hours that he put in as many times as he did. I used to put 16 hours in a lot, but nonetheless, um, not like he did for the consistent amount of time that he did. Okay, That's the difference. So anyhow, with all that being said, I made a mistake and I just did alternate picking and I did that for decades. Decades.
I practiced only one way. So with that being said, I'm, you're going to learn from my mistakes and you're going to get right into economy picking as well as learn, learning alternate, alternate picking, okay? Make sense? Economy picking allows for a lot of different types of, of speed, speed bursts and, and things that you wouldn't be able to do with just alternate picking, okay? All right, Thursdays is all about stretch and reach. So you can see here we got uh, weeks one through six, uh, seven, whoops, I just kind of went through that but didn't want to yet. Um, so here, <clears throat> Thursdays, you got all these different weeks, and you can see two finger, three finger, four finger, two finger, uh, two fret stretch. What? Yeah. And then advanced stretching. So it builds up as the weeks build up, okay? On Friday, it's all about modes, scales, and sequences. So this is basically kind of getting outside of exercises now and bringing, bringing it more into um, scales and modes and sequences and things that you're going to be using every single day in your playing. Okay, Saturdays is all about polyphony. Polyphony means many voices. So uh, we've got octaves, double stops, and triads. So this would be using more than one string at a time, one more than one voice, what we call a voice, uh, <clears throat> more than one string at a time. And Sundays is right here, uh, and it's going to be all about finger picking. Okay, so again, you've got seven different modules, if you will, and each one is going to graduate 52 times over the year. And it's going to get progressively more difficult. Um, and at the beginning of each day, so let's say we go here, there's a welcome video that you just saw, but at the beginning of each day, for the very first time that you come in, there's gonna be two introductory videos. And there's just introdu introducing you to the ideas that we're gonna be looking at on this specific day, on Mondays. And then there's an introduction to it. So you'll wanna watch those. And then you're straight into the first exercise. Now you can see these are checked off on the side. It's because I marked them complete, which I can do right here. So this is a great way to keep up with your 365 lessons that you've gotten here, okay? Um, if you play the video, what it does is it actually plays the audio of it while you can see the tablature going by. But with for extra support, I have PDF and GPX. So if you click this, you're going to be able to download a PDF that's going to have the tablature and musical notation if you read music. Uh, and then the GPX file is going to have both as well. But the difference there, uh, the musical notation and the tablature is actually interactive, so it will move. You'll see it move. Uh, you'll hear it. You can slow it down, speed it up, change the key, do all sorts of bits and pieces to it. You would just need a program like Guitar Pro or Tux Guitar, which is the free version of Guitar Pro, or any other program that will allow you to open that. But if you want to do that, if you're in the program already and you haven't already downloaded Tux Guitar, do a Google search on that and download uh, Tux Guitar. It's a great program that will allow you to play these interactive tabs, slow them down to your speed, loop them, that sort of thing. Super, super valuable and really adds a lot to this program, okay? And then you can see right under here, you see all these folks uh, with their questions and you can see I'm replying to them all. Uh, so I get in there right away and, uh, and literally converse with you about all these bits and pieces, okay? Uh, a lot of encouragement, a lot of understanding, focus, and, and this, that, and the other thing, okay? So that is the uh, <clears throat> 365 guitar plan. That's what I'm calling the guitar's best practice tool because I don't know about you, but I would like something where I could practice every single day without thinking, knowing that I'm growing, and at the end of the year I can be in beast mode, and then turn right around and do it the next year at a faster speed and so on, and never would stop, okay? So literally, my friends, you're getting this entire program today and the unstoppable guitar system. I'll bop over to that real quick for one second, and then I'm going to start taking some questions because I want to provide. I want to make this short because I really want to get to your questions today. Um, so literally for one buck today, that's what you'd be getting. You'd be getting uh, 365 and the unstoppable guitar system. The unstoppable guitar system is different. <clears throat> Basically, it's, hey, you don't know how to play guitar? Okay, let's learn from the very, 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 very beginning. Baby basics, never touched a guitar before, starting there. All the way up to advanced level lead guitar, swing guitar, blues guitar, rock guitar, uh, understanding all about tone. You can see there's different levels in here. Beginner, intermediate, intermediate plus, advanced, advanced plus. And friends, we have nearly 600 videos in here, 600 video lessons, okay? Uh, and then in the resources section, you have jam tracks and nearly 600 jam tracks, all my live webcasts that I do within the program for just these folks, okay? 
So yeah, I do a lot of live stuff like this for many, hundreds and, and thousands oftentimes. So, and it, sometimes it's hard to get your question answered. When you're inside the Unstoppable Guitar System, I do at least two live broadcasts per month, which allows you to ask questions with me and we're interacting one-on-one. -on -one. And other folks are able to, to be helped from your questions. And we have much smaller classes and we're able to really dig in, okay? So that's what, three, that's what Unstoppable Guitar System is all about. I'd like to drill into this further. If there's a question along the way, then I will do that. Otherwise, I really want to get to some questions now because that's very important to me that you get your questions answered. But FYI, this is available for you today. The link is in the description of this video. It's $1. It's basically going to give you 30 days unlimited access so we don't we don't cut anything off in the program you have unlimited access to everything that I've done here okay um, there, I have other programs that are online like on Udemy uh, and I've got obviously a thousand some odd videos on YouTube but this is not that this is the stuff that I've reserved for folk that are very serious about playing guitar and that want to commit to it so that's what this is all about and it's available for a buck today okay let's go to some questions um, and we're gonna jump over to YouTube here Okay, so, um, and I'm probably gonna just, I'm probably just gonna go right where I'm at and, and, and start right here. Um, I'm not gonna go all the way to the beginning because I typically can't chase the, uh, the chat like that. So if you put a question in there, you might wanna put it in again, please. Uh, Evan is saying, how much does a 365 guitar plan cost? My friend, it's one buck. Now, <clears throat> literally it's giving you access to both programs. Now, <laughs> once you get in there, you've got several different options. Okay, you've got a monthly option. If you just want to get 365, you can do that. If you want to get Unstoppable Guitar System, I'm going to throw in the 365 guitar plan. Okay, so there's a bunch of different options. I can't go into all the details, but if you, if you click on the link that's that dollar offer, then literally here's how it works. There's no contracts. You're not signed up for anything other than if after 30 days you, you're like, I'm still in, I'm not canceling, then whatever program you chose to be on, whether it's a sub sub subscription or you've just purchased it outright or whatever, then that would kick in. If you don't want to do that, within those 30 days, cancel it. No questions asked. Just say, cancel it. I don't want it anymore. We're not going to question you. Just Trust me, we've got a lot of folks that want to be in here. For folks that don't want to be in here, that's okay too. Uh, but that's there's there's different options, <clears throat> and it changes because we do specials all the time. So you may want to check that out when you click on that link and you're joining the one month for thirty days or, or thirty days for one dollar. Both programs, you're going to have some options there. Okay, Evan. So check that out if you would, please. Um, all right. With a limited time to one hour per day to practice, should I start with Unstoppable Guitar or 365? Rod, it depends. If you are a brand new player, let's say you've never picked up the guitar before, I would say to start with my th those first 30 lessons that are inside the program because those are really going to get you a firm foundation for the rest of playing guitar. If you've played guitar some and you're ready you know, doing this, you already got your fingers moving, then I would say start at 365 for part of the day, maybe like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. And then the rest of the 40 minutes be inside the Unstoppable Guitar System because that's really going to teach you more about the whole enchilada. Ray is saying, what about lifetime prices? Again, Ray, it changes because we have specials all the time. We had a special that just ended, I believe, yesterday, but I don't know for sure. So if you're clicking on the link, you're going to know for sure what the special is uh, today. Okay. So, uh, but it's different. I mean, 365 has been 400 bucks before, but we're, we're doing some specials. I know we're always doing some things really cool. Well, not always, but right now we've got the dollar offer. So like I said, anybody who has questions about the continuing price of this, click on the dollar link because that's going to give you the information that you need to know in real time. Okay. Um, have you integrated all of your Udemy courses into Ultimate, into, um, it's, it's not Ultimate 365, it's 365 Guitar Plan. I bought all of your Udemy courses a few weeks ago and bought the 365 this week, Doby Dad is saying. Doby Dad, no, that's great that you bought 365 because it is not part of the Udemy program. And 
Will it be? Hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. I'm, uh, I will talk to my guys about that, whether we will do that. But we wouldn't include it with the program on there already because already, uh, here's the deal. Uh, if I can explain this really quick, folks, I have my program on another site called Udemy, but it's not the same. It's a scaled down version of it. With that being said, it's the number one guitar lesson series on that site. It's also the biggest one by far. So it dwarfs any of the other guitar lesson series that are out there for us. So for us to add another 400 videos to it, it's just going to get people lost. And that would be just nuts to do that. So we're not going to do that. Uh, we may offer it as a separate course, but it's definitely not going to be in that, that particular one. Okay. Um, are you are you just slinging your practice tool today or having some instructional guitar happening? Paul, it depends on the question. So this today is more of a support uh, support uh, webcast for folks that are in there already. They're inside the Unstoppable Guitar System that are in the 365 and for folks that are having questions about practice and all that. So it really depends on the practicing. But specifically, nope, this is all about the guitar practice tool today and and uh, UGS, Unstoppable Guitar System, um, because I can answer one question here for one person, or I can literally hand you the keys to the kingdom. And people don't understand this on the web. I don't understand, and I'm not saying you, but sometimes folks don't understand this where they're like, well, I don't want that. I just want to answer this one answer to this one thing. Okay, well, I'll give you that, but then there's hundreds of people that want that one answer and at the end of it, we're going to be wasting a lot of time. Why don't I hand you the keys to my car and you can go take it for a spin, okay? That's what this Unstoppable Guitar System of the 365 is doing, okay? It's a literally allowing you, so, so in regards to instructional guitar happenings, uh, there I'm literally, Paul, handing you a key for a dollar saying, here's a thousand videos to instructional guitar happenings, all in order, all in exactly what you need, any, pretty much anything that you're ever going to want on the guitar. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, okay, so is there a different login portal for the new UGS? I'm a UGS member, but the portal I go through is the old website. Okay, Quentin. And listen, anybody who's on the old website, like you're like one of a handful of people, okay, of thousands of people that are in the program. So you've missed all the emails that we've sent out, all the announcements that we've sent out. Um, so Quentin, at this point, you'll need to email support at yourguitarsage.com. Email them with the email address that you signed on to the Unstoppable Guitar System, and they will get you set up in the new 2.0, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, Rod's saying, Eric, you mentioned you have reggae jam tracks. Are they in 2.4 or 4.4? 2.4 just throws, throws me off the horse. Uh, Rod, they're in... Um, I'd say they're in 4. I mean, honestly, 2.4 and 4.4, four, four, uh, you know... To me, if it's in if it's in some sort of four, it's all the same. It's just how I'm counting it. Um, I know some some folks may disagree with that, but that's how I've always found it to be true with with anything that's in four. Three and four are two different sounds, or three and five, or four and five are different sounds. But if it's in four. It's in four. So what's probably throwing you off, though, Rod, is reggae is all up up beats, right? It's all up strums for, for the most part. So it's going to give you a. It's going to give you this. sort of thing, okay? Um, so you count that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you count it, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and you can count it either way. Um, okay, makes sense? Good, good. So it's all going to be upbeat, though, okay? Paul, um, gotcha, I'll be signing up. Good, yeah. Paul, when you get in there, let me know that you're in there so I know you're Paul. The, the specific Paul I've been talking to. And if you have any questions while in there, let me know. Like I said, I literally answer questions on my phone throughout the day and on my computer. And so like folks are like, okay, I got a question about this. Hello. And I'll be like, here's here's your answer, you know? So, so do that. Um, and let me know when you get in there, my friend. Okay. 
Amar is saying, hey, I practice guitar every day, but I feel like I'm stuck at some point. Sometimes instead of hitting G bass, I hit C bass. I also feel like I'm, memor like I'm memorizing songs, not learning guitar. What do you say? Amar, okay, so number one, don't beat yourself up too much because I've never met a mus musician ever in my life who was like, hey, I'm better than I thought I was going to be or man, it's weird, I haven't practiced that much, but I'm better than I thought I would be, okay? So there, I've never heard those. Uh, every musician I know is always trying to go after this other, this other level, always. And honestly, everybody in anything, uh, the, the banker down the road, the accountant, the lawyer, they're always, everybody's, we're all trying to get to different levels of expertise, right? Why would we want to sit in mediocrity? So um, with that being said, the reason that you're hitting that G bass instead of the C bass all the time is you haven't done it enough. I know you say you practice every day, and I get that, and I understand, and this is where that comes in, Amar, is we all feel like we've practiced enough to deserve blank. But truth be told, if you're missing a particular something, you just hadn't practiced it enough, bottom line. That's your judge, uh, not me. It's the, the, when we make a mistake, that's our judge. It means we haven't practiced that enough, okay? And now, in, in regards to memorizing psalms, there's nothing wrong with memorizing psalms, but it sounds like, Amar, that you need to have some sort of structure. So I would either suggest randomly looking for theory videos on YouTube uh, or take advantage of the offer that I've got today. It's a buck, and it's literally step by step. And in this way, you're really, truly going to be learning how to play guitar all facets of it. You're gonna be learning about music theory, about technique, you're gonna be learning about improvisation, ear training, sounds, like how to come up with tone and everything, the whole nine yards. Uh, but I, I get you. I mean, look, that's the reason why I do what I do is because folks, they don't know how to go about getting from A to B. Uh, so, make sense? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Z I can't even pronounce it, Zithniks, uh, is a question about the Udemy course. I'll buy it later now. I'm kind of advanced. Uh, will it be beneficial for me or is it just for beginners? Uh, no, it goes from intermediate, I mean, it goes from beginners to advanced, okay? But what I would implore you to do is I would implore you to do the dollar offer that we're doing today as well because, or do it instead because it's way bigger than the Udemy course. The Udemy course is what it is. The Unstoppable Guitar System is one that I add to every single month. 365, it's done, okay? I may end up tweaking a video here or there if I see that people are having a problem with a particular area or what have you, uh, but that is what it is, it's done. UGS, Unstoppable Guitar System, continues to be improved, continues to have new jam tracks, continues to have new videos, et cetera, et cetera. And it's much bigger than you to me, okay? But both of them go from beginner to advanced. Uh, okay. All right, great. Jude is signing up. Great, thank you so much for letting me know, Jude. Uh, yeah, folks, you know, look, if, if your playing is not worth a buck, then I'll sit with you and we can do these live broadcasts and I'll sit with you as long as it takes and, we'll, and I'll answer your questions, but I can promise you that you're not going to get much traction. I can promise you that. I know that because I've, I've taught hundreds of students, thousands of lessons over lots and lots of years. So I know what the patterns are. I know what people do. And people that are like, yeah, I play guitar and they pick up and they play Iron Man or they just play a noodle a couple things. It's like, cool. See, in 10 or 20 years, you're going to be doing the same exact thing. There's other folks, other students that I've had where they come in and literally within a few months, they are off to the races. They're just taken off. And it's because they're doing focused practice. Focused practice, okay? All right, great, uh, great questions. I'm, I'm going backwards now in here a little bit just so I can, um, so I can get to some more questions for you guys. Um, all right, all right. And if you need me to pop over to the course to show you any particular thing, just let me know that and I can do that. I would be happy to, uh, to do that with you guys as well. Uh, man, we got folks from all around the world in here. I'm all the way, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm looking all the way at the front here. Uh, Barbados, nice. Crazy. Make sure you put a question mark on the back of your questions. If you're asking a question, if you're, if you're chatting amongst yourself, then that's okay too. Um, maybe put the name of whoever it is that you're chatting amongst. Otherwise, I'm going to assume the question's for me. 
Um, but I'm looking for only question marks because I, there's no way for me to read it uh, quick enough, okay? All right, great. By the way, great question so far. Okay. Go full-time uh, streamer on Switch. Med K, you've said that before. <laughs> but isn't Twitch more for gaming? I think. Plus, all I, everybody who knows me is here. They're not. They're not on Twitch. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I would be doing there. But you'd have to let me know what the what the difference is. You know. Um, okay, I have the UGS, but don't see the new 2.0 in the new link. Also, it's 365 now part of UGS or Extra. Sorry, jumping in here late. That's okay, Keith. Okay, Keith, so uh, what I mentioned to someone earlier who missed it is uh, we've been announcing the whole 2.0 for some time. Um, he's sending emails out and what have you, so you might have turned your emails off or they're getting spammed or something, but we're sending them out. I, pro I can assure you that. Um, or maybe you've changed email addresses. With that being said, please email, listen, anybody who's on UGS and they're on the old UGS, listen to me. I want to get into 2.0 2 for free. Here we go. Email support at yourguitarsage.com with the email that you signed up originally with. They'll do a cross check and make sure that you're legit and all the rest, and then they will get you into 2.0. I don't know how they do it, it's magic. It's some sort of voodoo, but, they, but they're but they able to do it. My, my guys, okay? They're the smart ones, I just play guitar, okay? Uh, but, but do that, and they will get you set up, all right, my friend? Please do that. And yes, once you're in, once you're in Unstoppable Guitar System, we've given those folks 365, and that's, that's um, that's a fringe benefit, and that's an extra, uh, just a whole nother course for you to dig into, okay? Um, okay, thank you so much, Rod. I appreciate that. Y'all, it's worth it. One-on-one -on -one is, is much more expensive. It's, uh, I've done the homework. Yeah. Well, Rod, if, if, if here's the deal. If you were to come visit me here in Nashville, now I know I'm a little bit more expensive than others just because my time is very limited, uh, but it would be 100 bucks an hour, and I can assure you that if we sat down and I taught you everything that's in these thousand some odd lessons, and if I had to tell them to you over and over again because maybe you weren't paying attention that day or you were distracted or whatever, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit expensive. <laughs> it's gonna be like insanely expensive, okay? So that's why I, obviously I've created the course so you can get in there and that's why I got involved online anyhow was because I ended up teaching the same songs over and over again and thought, well, if I just make a video, somebody in India is going to be able to learn this song and here I, here I am today. How weird is that? Um, okay, so how many years does it take to get to an intermediate level? Omar is saying, Omar, uh, a totally unanswerable question. I appreciate the question. Totally unanswerable because it's all opinion. What is intermediate to one is not intermediate to another. How much you're going to practice has is going to be different than the way somebody else practices, and there's a lot of other variables there. However, in a, in, in a scenario where someone's really passionate about learning and they want to get to an intermediate level, I believe that, that you could do it within a year. I truly believe it. And I've had students that have done it. And that means going through every single bit, every single thing that I teach, you know, whether it's whether you're doing it with another teacher, but make sure, please make sure that they are a teacher that knows what they're talking about and that they want to be a teacher, friends, because there's a lot of folks that teach guitar that want to be on the road, they want to be playing in a studio, they want to be playing in a rock band, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I've done all that stuff, and I like all that stuff, and I still dabble with that, but ultimately, this I love this. I love to be able to reach a few hundred or a few thousand people at once and help them along their journey, and it's really cool. I love doing that. So, um, But I've had lots of students that have literally gone from, from beginner, never touched the guitar, to intermediate within a year-ish. I've uh, been practicing on tapping a la Eddie. Do you touch on tapping in your lessons? Yes, I have a whole section of... Uh, involved in that, Sean. So here's the deal. It's not a giant section. I don't know how many videos it is. Um, I'm not even going to say. I, I would guess probably five to seven, uh, but it doesn't. it's not really going to take more than that to, to learn tapping, okay? But with that being said, Sean, here's the deal. Get in there for a buck today. Check it out in the upper left-hand corner. Let me show you this uh, on the site, my friends. Uh, when we get into the website here, 
um, we can go into the upper left hand corner or once you're I tell you what once you're in the site in the upper left hand corner you're gonna see a little uh, magnifying glass just tap on that you type in tapping or chords or scales or whatever it is you're looking for and bam uh, of, of all those videos they're gonna pop up okay um, okay Rod's saying right here it depends uh, the more you practice the less time it takes exactly yes you can go back in time literally Thank you, Kevin, for the kind words, buddy. I appreciate it, man. Uh, Bobby is saying, I signed up for, for UGS and $1, and it's great, but I got an email this morning saying I had lessons for week two of 365. I want to know if I was signing up uh, with it or just want to know before I use it. Bobby, yeah, if you signed up for the dollar offer in the Unstoppable Guitar System, then, indeed, you have 365 as well, Okay. And you have an option, okay? Here's the deal. Listen to me, folks. A lot of folks, uh, they appreciate the motivation and the uh, paving a way for them to see where it is that they're going to go. It's not just motivation. Uh, it's, it's truth. It's being able to, to enlighten you to see what your capabilities are. And as a, as a good teacher, one should be able to do that for his students, okay? And I do this a lot. And I've created emails throughout the program that you can opt in that are literally uh, motivation, not just motivational, but they're going to tell you tri tips and tricks, ways to think and what have you. that are absolutely going to get you to understand your unlimited potential, get you to unlock that insane guitar player that's inside of you that you've been, that you know it's in there but that you haven't given it the, the right chance, okay? So, Bobby, what you're receiving there is you're probably receiving week two's email on, hey, this is week two. This is what we're going to be looking at, and here's my encouragement for you, and here's what to think, and it's the, these, the, these are the obstacles that you may be running into, and et cetera, et cetera. Does that make sense? So that's, that's what that is, okay? Uh, Eric, if I come to Nashville, the girlfriend agreed to have me go see you one time instead of an expensive dinner. Nice, Rod. Okay, you look me up, my friend. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely do it, okay? Uh, Bobby, forgot. Please read above question. Bobby, Bobby, forgot. Please read above question. Um, I don't know what that means, Bobby. Oh, well, I just answered it. Forgot? No, I just answered it. You, 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 you heard me, I'm pretty sure now. Um, Rihan, hi, can you show a lick which I can play while strumming a G chord or E chord? Can you show me a lick? Yeah, so like if you're playing, let's say, let's say we're playing like a um, G. If we do like a... So with this first finger on the G chord, you can do all this fancy like. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm hammering the second fret of strings five, four, three, and that's a fun little bit that you can do on the G chord. That's what I call chord noodling. I have a whole section inside of the Unstoppable Guitar System, the one that I'm giving you guys for a buck today. I have a whole series on chord noodling, which is this, which is basically where you have a chord and you're like, well, what can I do with that chord to kind of play some melodies and to make it sound cool like this? And they're tricks, they're little things to know. And if you know them, bam, you got it, okay? So uh, with the E chord, you could do um, this pinky right here on the third fret of the second string. Or you could do, let's see here. You could do a, a couple of different things here. Um, on the second fret of the first string, or the third fret of the second string, or the second fret, 
It also depends on what key you're in, but usually those are going to work for, for the, the songs that have E or a G in it, okay? Uh, great question. Um, okay, Gene is saying, taking lessons weekly with a guy, going well, good. Good. Gene found a, a good teacher. Uh, I bought the $1 trial and trying to work that into my daily schedule. Question is how to combine the two together. Gene. Okay, well, Gene, I'm not sure what your current guitar teacher is teaching you, but um, just look at them separately. Look at like you're talking to two different people, okay? You're going to have two different conversations with two different people, chances are. So look at it just separately. And 365, or you're, oh, okay, the, the dollar trial. So you're doing UGS as well. Okay, so, so here's the deal. So with 365, just do that separately. Set aside 10 or 15 minutes a day. Set your watch, something where you literally, 15 minutes, you grab the guitar, you come to 365, you do today's lesson, and you just do it for 15 minutes. And that's all you do. Boom. Okay. With UGS, start at the beginner section first and do the entire beginner section, okay? Very, very important that you do that. No matter what, where, at, where you're at as a guitar player, you can go through them fast if you need to, okay? But nonetheless, start at the beginner section. Very, very, very important. I can't express that enough because we're stacking principles on each other. So if you're in theory in, in the intermediate section and you're like, well, I don't understand it. He never explained this. No, I did. It's just earlier, okay? So that's what a lot of times folks will do is they'll get in, they might get in my program and skip something, okay? I say they don't, this, they don't do this very often, but sometimes folks do this. They skip something. They're like, well, you didn't explain this. I did. You just skipped some videos. So you got to go to the beginner section, then intermediate, then advanced, okay? Uh, so, but once you get past the beginner section, then you can kind of jump around a little bit between intermediate, intermediate and advanced. The only caveat would be is if I have intermediate theory and advanced theory and you're just jumping to advanced theory, well, the intermediate theory is definitely going to support the advanced theory. Same thing with chords and scales or uh, chords, you know. So if you're advanced chords and you don't understand something, you probably skip something in intermediate chords. Same thing with scales. Okay, so I have different types of categories and it's really important that you... Um, that you go through those. So peruse the website once you get in there, Gene, uh, in the advanced part, the intermediate part. Unless you're a beginner, then just focus on the beginner stuff. There's no need in focusing on intermediate if you're not that yet, right? Okay. Great question. Okay. Um, Amar, Amar saying, I have another question, please. I see other players putting flavors into their playing like Spanish, Latin, but when I play, it's always the same sound, some flavor. Can I do anything about it? By all means, you can learn more guitar. So it's not, you know, a lot of times, often, oftentimes people are looking for one little thing that I can say, like I can hand them a token and then they're going to be able to play Spanish guitar, hand them a token, they'll be able to play funk. Well, it's not quite that easy, right? We have to know what makes Spanish guitar sound like Spanish guitar and then study those things. Uh, if we want to play swing guitar, we need to know those things that make swing guitar sound like swing guitar. That's why I have a whole swing guitar section inside the Unstoppable Guitar System, the one that you get for a buck today. Uh, that's why I have a whole section on blues guitar so you can understand how to play the blues, how to sound like a blues player. I have a section in there on slide guitar, if you want to be a slide player, okay? Uh, bluegrass, I've got a bluegrass section in there. So, uh, you know, if you want to sound like a particular thing, you've got to study the masters or you got to study people who are doing that and say, well, why does it sound like that? Just like uh, minimal, minimalism uh, painting, you know, it's minimalistic, so it's going to have a certain look to it. But if you don't know what those bits and pieces are, you're not going to be able to do it yourself. So you have to identify them and then practice them, then get good at it and do it. Okay. So yeah, that's what you want to do about that, Amar. Good question. I can't seem to sing and play at the same time. Any practice tips? Jason, yes. Number one, I literally have a whole course within a course inside of the Unstoppable Guitar System all about singing and playing at the same time. You'd think that I was magic just coming up with these courses right off the top of my head, right? No, the reason being is, Jason, you have that problem. Everybody has that problem. I talk about the juggling unicyclist on a, ju a tightrope, right? Is this guy who's going to the circus and he's doing these three things at once. Well, nobody in their right mind tries to attempt all that at once. They do one thing. They try to juggle. They try to ride a unicycle. They try to get on a tightrope. A tightrope. 
And then eventually, when they get bored of those things, they can bring maybe two of those things together. You know, and then eventually three of those things together, but it takes time. And when you're singing and playing at the same time, you're worried about chords, strumming, you're worried about timing, you're worried about lyrics, melody, looking cool, all that stuff. And if you don't break it up the way that I show you inside my program, then yeah, you're gonna be lost. You're definitely gonna be lost because it's gonna be so overwhelming. But I can tell you two secrets that you can do, Jason, just off the top of head. If you don't have a dollar today, if you don't wanna really improve and you just kinda want a couple little bits, which I know some folks do, they don't wanna be bothered. So, and I understand that. So if you want a couple bits, slow things down, slow them way down, okay? and take smaller sections of the song. So if you're doing the verse and the chorus and the bridge, just do the verse and do it nice and slow. If that's too much for you, do half of the verse and loop that over and over and over again. But I drill down into details inside um, the Unstoppable Guitar System in this, okay? Uh, Karen saying UGS is the answer. Uh, make the leap, you won't be sorry. Yay, thank you so much, Karen. I appreciate that. I told you we'd have some, we'd have some testimonies in church today, so thank you, Karen. Uh, Rahan, I've written a song. I want to add a melody to it. What should be the next step? How to go ahead? Rahan, you need to know what key you're in, so the chords will tell you what key you're in. I talk all about that inside the Unstoppable Guitar System, but you need to know that what the fingerprint, there's a fingerprint to music. So when you hear somebody playing a bunch of chords or a melody, there is a, a definitely a key that is being identified, whether they know it or not. It's like impossible to, to not let this key come out, what this tonal center is. It's like right now, it would be impossible for us to say that we weren't talking about a specific thing today. We're talking about the guitar, right? We're talking about practice on the guitar. So um, same thing with a speech or a movie or anything, a song, it always has a subject and a song always has a key. So you need to find out what key you're in. I go over all that inside the program and then the melodies that should match with that. So the scale that should match with that, if it's in the key of G, the chords match in the key of G, then you should be using melodies from your G major scale. Or just start singing, because naturally the, uh, the, the brain and the ear will usually, almost always, you'll know what key you're in like right away without having to know the key. Does that make sense? Mm. All right, I gotta hydrate. Um, You answered it. I forgot the question mark. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, a lot of people say you shouldn't say you're an aspiring guitarist. You should say you're a guitarist regardless of your skill level. Would you agree with that mentality? Yeah, by all means. You're a guitar player. Yeah. If you play, if you pick up the guitar and you do this, congrats, you're a guitar player. So it's just like what, what skill level are you at, you know? I often feel that I disqualify my skill because I don't write much music or play shows or anything. Well, my friend, I'm telling you, then you at least need the emails that I'm going to be sending you inside the 365 because I will mess with your brain to where you will understand finally that there is a hidden rock star inside of you. And it's just true because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be tearing down old bits and pieces that we tell ourselves that are, that are keeping you from being the best that you can be. And it's not just for guitar, but you can apply this stuff to life, but I promise you, you need that stuff. Any tips uh, for controlling a wandering, a, a, a wandering fourth finger pinky when doing the left hand one, two, three, four exercises on the fretboard while doing alternate picking? So Dave is inside our 365 uh, program, and what he's saying is, and I get this a lot, people say the wandering pinky, or they, say, they call it the flying pinky, because you know when you're practicing like this, the pinky, a lot of times what people do is they, they play the pinky and then it comes way out here, you know? I'm about to blow some of your minds. Get ready. <laughs> no, seriously. This piece of information is so crucial because you can use it in absolutely everything in every moment in life and it will absolutely change your trajectory. I don't care what it is you're doing, playing guitar, whether it's you're, you're at the gym or whatever, but here's the deal. Whatever you focus on and you consciously observe okay, and you correct, your brain is incapable of not taking notes. I'll say this again. Whatever you focus on and quantify 
I'll explain that in a minute, and you correct. So if you know you're doing something wrong, if you correct it and you're focusing on it, you're quantifying it, you're like, okay, this is getting better. Your brain is incapable of taking notes, meaning the next time you do it, it's going to be a little bit better, maybe a lot better. But nonetheless, you do that enough times, your brain will start doing exactly what you want it to do. This is with anything. It's not just guitar. It's with absolutely anything. I, you, know, you can change any habits that you have. I do this all the time when I don't want to do a particular something. I just quit sugar the other day. Uh, obviously, I've eaten sugar my whole life, but I just was like, I'm not eating sugar anymore. I don't need to eat sugar. It's slowing me down. So I just stopped. But... Uh, but if you practice this exercise on guitar or anything else, you get really good at exercising that muscle saying, nope, this is what I want. I'm going to practice this particular thing. And then you get it and you move on. Um, so, so here's the deal. You know, if you look at your hand, your thumb is close to your first finger and your second finger and further away from your third and your fourth. Because of that, you know, it, it, it's like it's not a very close relative. It's way out here, and it just is. It is what it is. Let's just say what it is, okay? It's that weird cousin, okay? And But in order for you to get to, to know that weird cousin, you need to talk to him. You need to hang out with him. You need to figure out what, what you guys have in common, right? You don't want it to be weird at the family reunion. So <laughs> we've got to practice it, and, and he needs to come around more. He needs to come around to the thumb more. And so what you do is when you're practicing this exercise, Dave, what you're going to do is you're going to observe. So you're going to say, okay, let's try to do the smallest movement I possibly can make while I'm doing this. I could probably do even smaller than that. I'll try to. And really, this is just coming because I'm observing. Because I'm saying, you can hardly see my fingers move, right? I mean, you can see them move, but it's just barely as opposed to doing real dramatic movements. Well, the reason I'm not doing that is I'm specifically focusing on my fingers and I'm slowing it down and I'm saying, don't do that, finger. You belong to me, pal. Do this. And what happens is you do that enough, then when you are doing it, you put enough into your conscious mind, then subconsciously it comes out, right? Garbage in, garbage out. You've heard that before. That's why you want to be careful about what you watch on TV and what you listen to and the people you hang out with and all that stuff because it all affects you. I want to be Chesney and Urban, a George Strait, but I want to play, I want my playing to be unique. I want to memorize my list. I want to uh, mesmerize my listeners. Yeah, I, I like that. That's a great attitude. Um, I have strings on my acoustic for a year. I still how like, like how they sound. Is there any reason I should change my strings? No. Keep them on there. If they sound good, you're good, you know? Uh, I think this is Galaxy Light is saying, what's the difference between flanger, chorus, and phaser? So that's a great question. A flanger, a flanger and a chorus are very similar. Uh, a chorus is going to be... Uh, less dramatic. You can almost think about it like chorus as being the most subtle, and then flanger, and then phaser, okay? They all do similar things where basically they're changing, they're, they're using pitch shifting, but it's, it's done in a way that's not like what you would think the word pitch shift should mean. Uh, it's doing it in such a way where it creates this morphing type effect, okay? But uh, and I, 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 we don't have the time to go over all that in detail today, but Galaxy Light, inside the Unstoppable Guitar System, I have this whole section. Uh, in fact, I'm going to show this to you right now. Chris, let's, let's do that. Let's go over to um, um, the uh, Unstoppable Guitar System. And so right in here, so just so I can find it really quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, so you saw me go to the upper left-hand corner there. I'm just going to type in Tone. And this shows you just how quickly you can find what you're looking for inside the system. So um, here you go. So I'm going to go right here to the Pursuit of Tone, or actually that series. So this is number nine where I'm talking about picks. So this is the Pursuit of Ultimate Tone. This is where I'm sitting with Greg Ellis, who is my guitar tech. He works on all my guitars, he works on all my amps, uh, helps me purchase guitars, does little tweaks, modifications, etc., etc. 
And he is an absolute genius. This man right here is a mad scientist, mad about guitar. And he can tell you more than I'll ever be able to tell you about the inner workings of guitars and amps and this, that, and the other, and the other thing. Um, he's an absolute genius and he really knows what he's talking about. Well, all that being said, we actually go through uh, different types of effects. And uh, in fact, let's see here. So that's the ultimate pursuit of tone, but I think I might have done this in another section called effects. And so you know, anything that you're looking for, you're going to find it in modulation effects. That's what this is. And specifically, we're talking a uh, graphical overview where, where, I'm, where I'm showing you specifically um, how I'm coming up with different effects. So here uh, you can see modulation effects, EQs, delays, noise gates, overdrives, reverb, um, to where you can know exactly what it is that you're digging into uh, when you get a new pedal. Okay? Awesome. Okay, great question, but that's what um, that's what that's all about. All right, um, let's get to some more questions here. So, uh, can I play a Stevie Ray Vaughan lick? I'm sure I can. Um, I'm sure I can, but um, I'm, I, <laughs> I won't right now. Uh, but I do. I do a lot of a lot of blues. You know. Uh, Bruce is saying the new website is fantastic. So far in going through it, there is nothing I have not been able to find. Yay, love that, Bruce. Thank you for the testimony. I appreciate it. Um, more SRV, more Robert Johnson, yeah. So what's the concept of, of triplets in, in blues? Uh, the concept of triplets in blues is the concept of triplets in anything. It's when, so instead of one and two and three and four and, Triplets are when we go one, two, and three, and four, and, or, or, or triplet, 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 you know, so like, and we can do dotted quarters, which is, or dotted eighths, however you want to look at it, uh, which is like a shuffle, which is using, um, but we're taking some notes out there. Otherwise, a triplet is when you can count triplet between every beat of your foot. So it's like click, click, click. Triplet, 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 triplet. Okay. Galaxy Light, can you please suggest me a good uh, beginner guitar? I have $250 budget. Galaxy Light, anybody else who's looking for an affordable guitar or anything like that, um, check out your uh, check out kit.com slash your guitar sage kit.com slash your guitar sage there's the link right there um, and so basically these are guitars that I've picked out that I that I endorse that I'm like this is legit okay now when you buy a $250 guitar I get I hear this all the time people say please tell me the best guitar for $200 you know, and those two don't really go together. Now we can say what's the best guitar for under two hundred dollars, excuse me, but best and under two hundred don't really go together, right? So when you're spending more money on a guitar, you're getting more. Okay, this guitar that I'm having built, which I'm going to tell you about in a minute because we got new news. I'll tell you about that in just one second here. Um, this guitar that I'm having built is not going to be a two hundred fifty dollar guitar, but I've bought lots of two hundred fifty dollar guitars, and there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, but the particular one I'm building. It, it, it definitely, uh, I mean, just alone, the parts don't cost that. So uh, forget about the build and everything else, the custom paint jobs and, and this, that, and the other thing. So it's not going to be that, okay? Um, but an Epiphone Les Paul, like John is saying, and I think that's one of the ones that I have on there for sure, okay? Um, okay, good, good. Uh, the Infinity Squire HSS, it's it's fine guitar, you know. When anytime you're talking about a guitar of that level, um, you know you're you have to go. Yeah, that's okay. You know what I mean? It's not gonna. It's not the best guitar in the world, but there's some things you've got to kind of let let go and not not be too too much of a stickler on because it is what it is. Okay. Um, all right, friends. I'm gonna tell you really quickly about um, about what's happening with the guitar because yesterday I met with John Scott, and then I might take one or two other videos, or one, one or two other questions. But then I've got to I've got to leave you because I've got so much on the agenda today. Okay, so 
really quickly. So I went to John Scott at Blues Man Guitar yesterday. We documented it, so we're, we're going to have some videos going up eventually here. Um, but basically, I picked out a body, and the body is made of swamp ash. The neck will be maple, and the body weighs less than three pounds. When we put it on the scale, it was two. It was two pounds, 15 ounces, and then like literally some wind blew and it went to three pounds. So literally it's like between 215 and three pounds, which is amazing. It's super duper light um, and it's resonant. Uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna fall in love with this thing because we go into a lot of detail in these videos that we're gonna be showing you. Um, so we got the body, uh, he's gonna be working on the neck. We got the pickup configuration set, which is going to be a humbucker a P90 in a single coil, but they're all going to look like humbuckers because we just, we've got this, we've got a whole look that we're going to be doing with this. Uh, this particular one that I'm doing is going to have a black pick guard. It's going to be strat styled. There's going to be some differences in it. There's going to be a cutaway um, where you can reach up the neck a little bit more. That's right here. Um, it's going to be, right now the color is going to be like a deep blue and it's going to be the whole guitar is going to be deep blue, including the neck, including the front of the neck. It's going to be hot. Uh, it's not going to have any dots on the front. You'll see dots on the top. They're going to glow. Um, it's going to be a, um, uh, what's the tremolo system? Wilkinson tremolo system. It's going to be a tusk, which is a synthetic bone. It's not real bone. I'm vegan. I can't, I'm not going to use bone, right? So it's, it's a tusk, and those are great. I've had them before. They have graphite built into them, so they're even better for, for tuning stability. Uh, I think we're doing Cluson tuners, and um, yeah, so more on that later, okay? But lots of good stuff. Um, okay, got any of those funk tokens? Any of those funk tokens? Nice touchdown. Uh, yeah, in fact, I need to uh, I need to do some on on the uh, on the funk as well. Can can you sing well? Lucas is saying, I'm gonna let somebody else be the judge of that because I <clears throat> I would never say that I'm a, a great singer or even a good singer. I would just say I sing. It is what it is. Um, all right, my friends. Here's the deal. I'm gonna go. I've got so much to on the books today, okay? But um, with that being said, here's the deal. Right now, 365 Guitar Plan and the Unstoppable Guitar System, system is available to you for $1 today. And, and here's the deal. There's no contracts. Uh, it's basically you get in, you've got 30 days of unlimited access to close to a thousand videos and close to 600 jam tracks live broadcast with with me where it's literally a smaller group than what we've got here and you're getting your questions answered we're digging in we're having a blast we're learning and you're finally becoming the guitar player that you want to become so if it sounds of interest to you friends take advantage of the dollar offer uh, I'm not sure what else I can offer you I do have a free course uh, the free course is inside of the unstoppable guitar system which I'm giving you but it's much 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 smaller the, the the free courses it's just the first 30 videos that I teach all my students it's absolutely remarkable if you don't have a dollar today then please take advantage of those 30 lessons okay yourguitarsage.com slash 30 or if you want to take advantage of the one dollar offer which offers obviously way more uh, then click the link that's inside of the description of the video my friends when you're inside say hey to me because like I say I'm in there all the time answering questions and, and digging in all right my friends I'm out of here love you guys thank you so much for the great questions and I'll see you inside uh, hit that link it's in the description of the video yeah